gentlemen, this is Describing Matter and correlates to Chapter 3.1 in your textbook. Your key concepts for this video are what is matter, what is chemistry, and what properties describe matter. Make sure your notes address these key concepts as well as any new or important vocabulary that we come across. So first off, what's matter? Everything around you is one of two things. It's either matter or it's energy. To be considered matter, it must have two properties. The first property is it must have mass, and we measure mass in kilograms in the SI system. The other property it must have is volume. There are two types of volume. We have solid volumes, which is the length times width times height. That's measured in cubic meters. Or we have liquid volumes, which is measured in liters. Now, anything with mass and volume is considered matter. So water is matter. Rocks, matter. Animals, matter. Air is matter. Pretty much anything you can physically touch or manipulate is matter. So what's chemistry then? You might think chemistry, oh, mad scientists in the lab mixing chemicals and causing explosions. Or maybe you picture beakers and complicated looking molecules. While those are part of chemistry, they're not necessarily what chemistry is. Chemistry simply is the study of matter and how matter changes. Now, sometimes you'll hear certain types of matter referred to as a substance. Some matter are substances, but not all. The reason being is a substance has to always have the same composition or the same makeup. It's very pure. For example, table salt is NaCl, sodium chloride. No matter whether I pull it from the ocean or I pull it from a salt mine, it's always going to be NaCl. Or water, pure water, H2O, whether it's in your drinking glass or in the water vapor in the air, pure water is always H2O. So it's the same composition. Gold is also a substance. It's made up of just pure gold, which is an element. So for a substance, for matter to be considered a substance, it must be pure. An example of something that's not a substance would be something like orange juice. It still has mass and it still has volume, so it is matter, but it's not a substance because some orange juice has more pulp, some orange juice has more water, some is more sugary. It's not the same composition every single time. So, what properties describe matter? Chemistry is studying that. We have to be able to des describe the matter that we're studying. There are two types of properties, and properties are sometimes called characteristics. One property is called a physical property. The other property is called a chemical property. So look at this picture of an apple here. How would you describe it to me? You might say maybe it's green, it's got smooth looking skin, this one's been cut in half. So those are all physical properties. They're things you are able to simply observe without changing the apple into some other substance. Other examples of these physical properties, we covered color, size, the mass, volume, texture, the state of matter, the solid, but it's got some liquids in there, hardness, temperature, anything that you can pretty much measure without changing the substance. Now, some of you, looking at that cut one might have been thinking, oh, wait, isn't it going to turn brown? And when you think that, you're actually thinking of a chemical property. So when you describe a chemical property, you describe its ability to change into a different substance. So that process of turning brown, the apple particles are actually changing into something else. They're oxidizing, they're reacting with that air and becoming something different. You can't unoxidize it. Another chemical property would be flammability, like paper. If it's not burning, but you know it can burn, that's a chemical property. When things rust or silver tarnishing and getting gray, all of those things are chemical properties. That's it. Please make sure your notes hit all the key concepts and vocabulary, and feel free to try this challenge question down here. You can write it in your notes, and we can discuss the answer in class.